Hey, um, so I agree with almost everything you said. Um, what I wanna what I wanna ask about is. Um, I'm not qualified to speak on the uh, morality of abortion as other people sometimes do, but um, logistically speaking, using the numbers that you set forth, the 1.3 million um, babies every year um, that are killed, if you per se outlaw abortion, what what do you now do with those um, 1.3 million babies? Because I would I would assume that it's not two loving heterosexual parents that um, are you know, financially stable and ready to have a child that are the ones that are having these abortions. It's usually, um, I think, single moms and stuff like that. And as you talked about, when you talked about marriage, that's not a good way to have a child and that's not a good way to uh, have children in this society. Yeah, so you're talking about the socioeconomic uh, concerns yes. with abortion. Yes. Um, I, you know, my first answer to that is, is um, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Well, be, I mean, seriously, because that could never justify killing people. So even if you could show me in a crystal ball some vision of the future where abortion is illegal and we are all living in destitute poverty, then I would say, yes, let's do it. Let's do it now. Because I would rather live in a poor country that doesn't kill babies than a rich one that does. So, yeah. um, But I would also say, as to the socioeconomic thing, that... Yes, I think if we were to outlaw abortion across the country overnight, which of course wouldn't happen, but if it did, uh, in the short term there would be an adjustment and, and there would be difficulties financially. Well worth the price, uh, worth any price in my opinion. But in the long term, I think it would help our country socioeconomically and, and in every other sense. Because think about it, with abortion we have separated um, the life-giving aspect of sex from, from the, you know, the pleasurable aspect of sex. And, 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 what, and what that does is it encourages people to engage in sexually risky and, and irresponsible um, behavior more and more because they know that you know, at the end of the day they can always just get an abortion. If you take the abortion out, then over time people are going to be encouraged to be more responsible in their sex lives and they're going to be encouraged to get married, preferably before they have sex, but if not, then you know, once the baby is on the way then get married then, like it used to be done. So I think, I think over time it would have the effect of strengthening the family, which would um, therefore strengthen the economy, economy as a secondary kind of benefit. So thank you. Thank you.